you you have to eat also, you know. You know, it's a sampler. There's tons to sample. Are you recording already? Yep. What the fuck? You got no like. One, one, two, three, go, or you know, nope, some action. No, one, two, three, so. go. You're just, you're on camera. Awesome. This is what we like to do it. <laughs> All right, so we got, we're at the uh, Milwaukee German Fest. We've had several beers. We had the. Uh, Hefeweiss, which was absolutely delicious. We've had, and we've had, I think this is about 32 ounces, maybe 48, I don't know. We'll have to measure later. I'm guessing it's probably closer to 48. <laughs> so, we've got cellophane wrappers, it's windy, it's hot out. Somebody's hungry. All right, so we got salt packets we don't need. Butter goes with the rye. Something about German and Polish food. I remember growing up all my life with uh, the Polish food. The rye was very important, but German and Polish foods are, are very, very similar. So we'll record that a little bit. And there's the chicken must be good, I guess. So we came here for the pig's head. The pig's head's not ready, so we're gonna have to like come back and a little bit. We're gonna, I'm gonna hover. I'm gonna grab another beer and I'm gonna hover over that pig's line, pig's head line. Because it's one of my favorite things. It was like all butter. It was delicious. Oh, somebody's hungry. <laughs> That's German fish. I didn't think it would be cold. I think it's American thing, serving the warm. I don't know. Let's figure it out. Look all that shit on here. Alright. So this was a sampler platter because they didn't have the pig set ready. It's not gonna be the best video ever because we're just drunk and drinking beer, German fest. I think the last pig set I did was much more enjoyable, much more fun. But we'll see if we can get a pink set. Make that one. Make that one spot on. Right. So you got your rye bread. Butter. A necessity. A necessity. German potato salad. It's sweet. It's definitely just a German pan salad, no big deal. It would be, that would be better warm. There's, there's, the sweetness comes out with the warmth of it. Just a couple of reminders of the yeah, choice so announcements. I wanted to let you know that four o'clock. Even though it's hot out, it's freaking hot out. Sweat my butt off. Drinking beer. Alex is over there with Schutzel and Eagles. It's a Schutzel on a roll and a Schutzel on a stick. That's right there. The beer the house is up on the second floor. Down there is the wine piece of the wine tool. With the wine tool, we're going to get the real American. Somebody's hungry? Somebody's hungry? We might do a. We saw him with Sweet Cheddar Monster. Coleslaw, coleslaw. My curiosity is why wasn't it sauerkraut? I'm Polish, German, German whatever, nearby. Sauerkraut should be served with this. This is a sampler platter. Why are we not serving sauerkraut? But it's, you know, this is something that we could have got in a local grocery store. No pop, no nuts? I don't see anything Polish or German about this. That's just coleslaw. So, as my. Not yet. Okay, so there's this. So there's this thing here. What so is th that? This was a sampler platter. I have no idea. They just said it was a sampler platter. 
So this is going to be a sausage or something. Yeah, this is going to be a very weird sausage. Good, another little snap. Yeah. That's pretty good. Huh? It's actually pretty good. Well, let's say there are very few original members left. It's a little bland. It's not really cold sausage. It's almost like a chicken sausage. It's very chickeny. It's like, like bland like a chicken. It's very a white, a white meat. It's tasty. It's alright. It's okay. It's fantastic. This is 76 from Mars. Come here and I want to have the pig's head. Right. You want to eat the pig's head? Right? Pardon me? Get, get you got to wait for the third We have to wait for them. They're not done yet. Can or I, can they I don't have enough. Can I take a recording on the Right. I've been Polish, German kind of thing all my life, but there's really not much here that's like well, what's traditional. This? That's, what's that? Is that chicken? chicken? Chicken leg. We'll taste it. I don't know what they what makes this German though. What makes chicken German? Do you guys know what seasoning? makes chicken German? Like, what makes chicken German? The seasoning? Like, is there a way to make it? <laughs> White pepper. A decade ago, or I mean a, a century ago, until the borders were changed and you didn't know who was German yep. or who was Polish. For sure. According to my mom. My ancestors who came here in like the 20s, they're like, we're not Polish, we're German. We're like, no, we're not German, we're Polish. We're Bohemian. Yeah. And like, I don't know if you're born, but. But it's all the same. Thing. Kind of the same, right? Yeah. Okay, you got your sausages, you got your pit oil, you got your sauerkraut. Clear yourself up, man. Chicken, we had pork, we had a cold potato salad, and a coleslaw, which I don't even think coleslaw is like German or Polish. It's coleslaw, and it should be something. I mean, here's something else that I don't know if you found this in your family, but pickled vegetables are always very prominent. Pickled red onions and pickled uh, the celery root. Oh, that cabbage, you know? Yeah, there's always, there's always something in the refrigerator that you pull out. It's always there. It's always on the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of, lot of preservation. Yeah. When you fermented, you know, I mean, that's like a parrot in the floor in your basement. Yeah. So true. You know, it's so much better for you. Absolutely. I mean, I've been preaching this for as long as I have been for a while. But I mean, since the 1950s, I think that's where the United States has really been going kind of bad with our diets and everything. We stopped preserving. We stopped fermenting. We stopped. Before then, our grandmothers, our great grandmothers, we're always fermenting things. We're always preserving things. We're pickling them. Much better for your body. Absolutely. So I mean, that's that's a huge thing that I, I constantly preach, and you know, you know I, I would love the day I could open my own restaurant and, and, and put out good quality product like this. It would be awesome. 
Okay, let's go back to our roots. Let's go back to what we've been doing for thousands of years. Literally. Where people live for 110, even 120, which was unheard of, you know, in the Western world because of the crap that, you know, they would eat the food and the hamsters and all the other shit. And I think that, that's, a, that's a huge difference. If, like, even stuff like this, you know, you come to a great festival like this, it's a German fest, right. we stopped at one booth, there's a bunch of people here putting out food and everything, this is just one sampling, but coleslaw, really, I didn't get any sauerkraut on a sampler platter. You want sauerkraut, Gary, you really don't. Yeah, well you gotta have it, I mean, <laughs> But I'm still waiting on my pig's head, because I'm going to eat one of those things. that window open, he's like, on it. So I, I had a the are the best, you know, I think. Oh, they're absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was a couple years ago we did a... Um, we came to Milwaukee and we did an Oktoberfest and they had a pig set. But it was like a small little brewery. And I, I've never seen anybody eat a pig's head before. And he, he ate like everything. He ate like the eyeball, he ate, like, the ear, and like he ate the uh, Chicago area? Wow, it was so gross. It was so gross. <laughs> it was like, oh, Are you on a Brewers game today? We had you a couple last night. beers. So my yeah. friend Jerry, as he ate the pig's head, I stayed up for the other day. Did you? Well, got up to smoke. You're here in Milwaukee? <laughs> Yeah, right. How do you guys feel about that ending? What a season last year. That must have sucked, right? It did suck. I'm not trying to say it. No, it, it sucked. It, was, it would suck for anybody, you know? Just like, oh, no, no. I, I shouldn't, shouldn't have to say that. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but it was 163 games. Yeah. It's like you don't do that close. That's all right. I think this has been a great rivalry, though, because the Brewers and the Cubs, and we're so close. You know, it's almost like it's a joke, and I don't know if you guys take it uh, uh, are insulted by it or not. But it's like Wrigley North. Yeah, right. Whatever. You know? Hey, come up here. Whatever. It's, it's, it's awesome. We tailgated last night. We had some brawlers, like walls and brass, and some sliced onions and. Room in a pot, a little butane burner thing going on. We got our bags out, we threw some bags. It was awesome. It's just a great environment. I love coming up here. I actually brought my kids up here um, on divorce, so I brought my kids up here a couple years ago. Uh, saw a couple of games. It's just a great stadium. It's beautiful. Oh, yes. The park is gorgeous. Although, our season last night, I will say though, we were up in the right field corner. I couldn't see right field at all. You, you can't. The sidelines. There's no sidelines. You can't look at the front of the screen. I don't. I don't. But it's a beautiful park. I love, I love the walk. I, I mean, I would actually, if I could find work here, I would live on this. I think it's amazing. And the great thing about that stadium is that there's going to be a game every day. It's not going to be a rain house. Yes. Not that I go to many games, but... Well, they you, know, you know that you're guaranteed to have a game. We saw the clouds coming in. And like, so I kept looking. Are they going to close it? Are they going to close it? Are they going to yeah. close it? They kept it open. Right. I was shocked how fast they closed that thing up. Like 10 minutes. Ago. It, was, it was quick. I thought it was like an hour. Holy crap, it's done. So, and it didn't rain. We got lucky. Right. But it was hot, man. Alright, so are you from Milwaukee? Or yeah, I've been right over this bridge. Really? Right. 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 The problem is when uh, like, like a day like today, if it's going to rain and they close that road, you're going to leave in like the second fucking inning because it's so humid. Oh, that's what we said. So like, I'm like, so man, humid. Man, I got up the fucking knee, man. I couldn't breathe. I'm going to go sit up my floor. Yeah. Yeah, it was so humid in there. Right. So I'm just keeping it. Even when the room is open, it's kind of been closed. I don't care about the county stadium anyway. No, I don't. All right, but it's like wide open. Yeah. Even when uh, Miller Park is open, it's really not really a free. No, because every now and then you get like a little bit of something. Right, you get lucky. Oh, man, that smells good. But that was it. She lived nearby.
nearby also? You're, clo you're close to the area? Yeah. Yeah? That's awesome. I love this area. If I could if I could have to relocate. If I were to relocate, I would want to relocate to this area. There's so much going on. 